Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley, and in this video I'm doing a 1,000 round update. Now, as many of you know, one of the things I do on this channel is I review guns. And I try to do an update on all the guns, basically 1,000 rounds later, 500 rounds later. How did the gun itself hold up to long-term usage? Because, I mean, it's cool to have a review of a gun, but everyone wants to know, like, is it a gun that's going to last me a long time? Is this gun worth my money? And, you know, how how much value is really in this gun? So, I mean, I haven't come across a lot of bad guns, um, so... I don't know if that's why I haven't had a lot of bad reviews about guns, but um, we have another one here today that I reviewed probably three months ago. This is the Ruger SR9E. I reviewed this, I think, in January. Um, yeah, when it was still snowing, or December. All I remember is it was still snowing, and I didn't get any close-up shots of the gun like I wanted to because I wanted to show everyone how it actually looks. So this, all I had get, all I was able to give you guys is sh like footage of me shooting the gun. But this is going to be more of a thousand round review slash close up so you guys can see how the gun looks. So um, here's the gun. I'm not going to go over the specs again. It's a 9mm full size handgun, SR9E, $300. Considered a budget gun, kind of. Um, but I'm just going to go over some of the things I've noticed, I've liked, disliked, um, etc. So this is a fairly large gun. Like, as you can see, it's a full-size handgun. Um, I'm not going to actually put the magazine in right now because it's loaded with full metal jet or hollow points. And because I was out shooting, testing hollow points through this. So it comes with one 17-round magazine, but you can buy two... On grabagun.com, you can buy two extra mags for like 40 bucks. Um, it is unloaded. As you can see, it's completely unloaded. So, I've put this gun through the ringer. I've put it through a thousand rounds. And I want to show you basically what I've come to like about the gun, what I've disliked, etc. Um, now the only gun that I think in this price range would be a decent competition is maybe the Canik TP9SA or Canik TP9SF. Those guns are a decent competition to this pistol, but they do run you about $50 to $60 more than the SR9E. Actually, I've noticed the SR9E prices have fluctuated. When I bought it, it was right around $300. i have I've seen it go up to $330, um back down to 300 so I'm not sure where it's at right now. But I would say a good competition of this gun is the Canik TP9SA SF series. Um, but again, those run 350 to 360 This gun only comes with one mag, and that's about it. There's nothing else it comes with, pretty much. Um, one, let's talk about what I liked about, about the gun. So if you can see here, I'm trying to see okay can you see the grip that grip feels so good it's super nice feeling just a solid plastic um, textured grip I love this grip on this gun it feels so good and the front grip is the same but the back the cool thing is on the back here where you put your palm this is actually rubber this isn't hard plastic like here on the back of the gun you have soft uh, rubber that actually squishes in when you push on it and I love that it, fe it feels so good in the hand when you put it in your hand it just contours around the hand and it just feels super good that little grip on the back there it's not interchangeable but it might be but I don't think it is but it feels super good I just love it the way it is um, let's talk about the mag release so as you can see, right here we have the mag release. Not too big, not too small, I think it's just perfect. And it's on both sides, so it doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed, you can hit the mag release from both sides. And that's just stock, it comes like that. So that's really cool. Um, next thing I wanted to go over is 
It has kind of a uh, not loaded chamber, and well, it has a whatever this is called. I mean, if you rack the slide, it'll this thing will pop out, and then when you push the trigger, it pops back in. So that doesn't mean there's a round in the chamber. It just means you rack the slide. Um, so I guess that's kind of a cool feature. I haven't cared much for that. Um, on the front, right here, there's a decent sized rail system. So I've mounted flashlight or lights on there before, and it works pretty good. Um, there's one thing I actually don't like about this gun. Uh, if you can see here, sorry, the light's kind of weird. The serial number's right here. And it's on like a shiny piece of metal. Like why? Usually people try to like hide where the serial number goes. But if you can see right there, it's just on the sh a shiny piece of metal. And I don't think that looks very good. I mean, I thought they did so well at making the grip look good. You know, the contour of the grip and everything else look good. And then they slap this piece of metal right there with the serial number. And I'm like, really? That's kind of does not look good in my opinion <laughs> um, and the slide overall is very good I would maybe like to see some serrations on the front but again this is kind of a budget pistol so you can't expect that much the serrations on the back are as you can see here are very fat see the super fat and spaced out but it is easy to rack the slide no problem um, Absolutely no problem racking the slide. Um, other than that, this handgun feels very well balanced in the hand. The sights are okay. I mean, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get it on the camera. No, I won't. But the sights are just stock, standard, what what you can expect. They're, they're not going to blow your mind. Um, now, one thing that I think might sell this gun is... The fact that the trigger, in my opinion, is awesome. I mean, people always brag about the Canik TP9 series triggers. I like this trigger just as much or even better. Let's see if you can see this here. I'm going to pull the trigger safety back. There's no, almost no give. Look at that. It's just straight, tr like, wall. So we're going to reset when you pull the trigger back there's no play right here I mean it's solid right there you just pull it I mean look at that no play and then when you pull the trigger it hits it's just a straight wall that's an amazing trigger guys for what three hundred dollars I mean I haven't seen a trigger this good in a gun like this and maybe the Canik uh, TP9 series is good has good triggers, but this one's amazing in my book. So, also, obviously, it's a full-size barrel. I'm not sure what the specs are right off the top of my head. I said them in the last video. It's probably like a 4-inch barrel, maybe a little bigger. Um, like I said, I talked about that in the, my last video. But the the amazing thing is, like, if you some of my other 1,000-round gun review updates... The guns have shown lots of signs of wear after a thousand rounds, but this gun, honestly, on the barrel, on the slide, there's not much, not many signs of wear or use. It's crazy. Like, if I was to show you this gun in person, you would think it's been, ha it's had some use, but not a thousand rounds. And it actually does have a loaded chamber. Um, indicator thing. Nothing actually pops up, but you can see if there's a round in the chamber. Um, so that's a cool feature. So, my the take home of this is this is a great value. It's a great gun. A thousand rounds later shows no signs of giving up or no signs of wear, um, or at least extreme wear. I'm sure if you look, you know, you got a micro, you got like a magnifying glass and look inside the slide you could see some wear but to the naked eye it looks like a really good like not very used so after a thousand rounds I am impressed I mean to me it looks like a gun that's 
even when I take it apart, it looks like a gun that is has not been used that much. So I'm excited to see how, to me, kind of the, to me, the 1,000 rounds is kind of like the breaking period. You know, that's when it, I can see if a gun's going to keep performing well or if it's going to fall. So, you know, if a gun, if a gun can run 1,000 rounds through it and still be in great shape, looks great, still shows minimal signs of wear, then I think that's a, that's a sign you're getting a good, a good deal. I 100% recommend this gun, you know, it's awesome. I've even used it as my EDC before, my concealed carry, um, you know, during winter months when I can wear a jacket over it or something, and it's been completely awesome. So, can't think of anything else off the top of my head, you know, for 300 bucks or whatever it's costing now, roughly $300, I don't think you can get a better pistol. Like, the TP9 series is good, um, but that's a little more expensive. And, you know, you got the name. You've got the Ruger trademark or name behind this gun, which, you know, Ruger does make reliable firearms. They always have and probably always will. So um, if it's any uh, reassurance to you, you know that you have a good company standing behind the gun you purchased. So, this is my 1,000 round update. I, um, obviously, I think I ran into a couple malfunctions here or there, but I think it was m mostly because I was using steel ammo. And I'm not even talking about Tula ammo. I'm talking about, like, the cheap Winchester USA forged crap that jams in everybody's guns. But when you, when you use decent ammo like PMC... American Eagle, Federal, uh, Blazer Brass. If you use decent brass, this gun will never jam, I guarantee you. And especially after putting a 1,000 rounds into it, this gun is broken in. It's well broken in. So, um, honestly, I don't even feel like this gun had a break-in period. It was reliable from the start. So, again, guys, I'm not sponsored by Ruger or paid in any way to make this review this is just an honest review from someone that likes guns so i hope this video could help you out um so if anyone wants to know i'm just running hornady critical defense nine millimeter 115 grain bullets through this gu gun absolutely no problems we did 100 rounds of hollow points today through this and no problems at all worked flawlessly that's about it, guys. I hope you liked this video, this tabletop review, and I will uh, see you guys next week.